Nice of you to make an appearance. No, I'm sorry, I got held up. Well, we managed to keep ourselves entertained, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I didn't mind the wait one bit. Don, I'd like you to meet my brother Luke Spencer. Luke, meet D.L. Brock. A pleasure. Luke, I heard a lot about you. Uh, any of it repeatable? Well, all of it's good. And some of it is even fantastic. And it's all true. Come on, let's go sit down. I've got quite a fan here. Oh, uh, well, Barbara Jean, I wouldn't exactly consider an objective opinion. Well, I was never much for objectivity. You just give me some people that I can trust, that have good instincts, and I'm happy. Hungry? Uh, I'm curious. She wouldn't tell me anything. What is this about? Well, I think we should have breakfast first, because what I have to offer you, you won't be able to take on an empty stomach. What is that? I'm going to tell you how to get rich. right. Shot to hell needs a lot of work. It would be worth it. That's the way I figure. We're going to restore every inch of it. You can't beat the location. I mean, halfway between the exposition and Baldwin's Mall. Oh, boy, have you been out of touch. What? What'd I miss now? It's not just a mall anymore. The whole waterfront is getting completely redeveloped. Oh, man. Well, this is really hard to believe. What, did anyone take the trouble? No, the baby Baldwin would grow up to be a land baron. <laughs> <laughs> baby Baldwin? Yeah, well, it's a long story. Life is full of surprises. Not all of them bad. So what do you say? You told me I was going to be rich. Well, you string along with me, you will be. Running a hamburger joint. That's right, a hamburger joint. But the fanciest one around the place to be in Port Charles. Well, it's easy to say. It's something else to pull off. Well, it'll need a little clout. And money. Don't worry about a thing. I'll take care of that. Well, there you go. Clout and money. Two magic words. I've got plans for that building that you wouldn't believe. What makes you think I'm your man? Well, Bobby's uh, told me that... Um, <clears throat> that you uh, ran uh, the disco. That you ran a very successful boat. The Star, yeah. That's right. The most successful place in all of Port Charles. Oh, no, it didn't do that well. That's not what I heard. Well, I ought to know. I owned it. Look, I did some checking, and I found out that the problems that arose that forced you to sell the place were not of your doing. I mean, the thing got out of control. It wasn't your fault. I thought so. Yeah, I know so. I've been there myself. And there's another factor. Bobby told me that you know how to run a classy place. You know how to run a successful place. Yeah, well, there's more to it than that, isn't there? Well, you're a shop guy. That's not it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to level with you. I want your name. I want Luke Spencer in quotes for my partner. What he is and what he represents. Not all of that is so hot, pal. Oh, no? A man who returns from the dead? Miraculous recovery? A born entrepreneur? man that returns more than two million dollars that was stolen to the people of Port Charles. Now, if that isn't hero material, I don't know what is. You're bankable, Luke. I want to cash in on it. And in doing so, I want to make us both a pile of money. Now, Luke, before you say anything, I know you hate exploiting all Barbara, hold things, on. One, might... one, one, one second. Times have changed. I spent some rough time up on a mountain recently, and, uh... If a little exploitation is what it takes for a taste of the good life, you got yourself a partner, Mr. Brock. <laughs>